Hi everyone, it's me again, Christoph from Logobooks. I know that it has been quite a while since I've made a new review, but that is solved today because I am going to show you this beautiful book. It's called Process Visual Journeys in Graphic Design by Banker Wessel. This book is the latest publication by Counterprint. We probably all know them and I can already give you away that this book is one of the most unique books that I've ever seen. So definitely keep watching until the end. So that being said, let's take a look at what we can find in this beautiful book. What we can immediately notice is of course the bright red color with the hot foil or cold foil. I'm not sure if this was uh, printed in hot foil or cold foil, but it has a nice silver shiny look to it. What is also very nice about this cover is the way how the title or at least a small part of the title process is um, yeah, built or designed. Here we can see here PRO, which is quite obvious, but this forms a C, E, S, and then the second S. What I like about this cover is that it is a representation of how the book is structured or how the book is designed, and that will be clear later on. But the book, or at least the cover, gives a very good impression of yeah, what you can expect from the content of the book. What else can we find here? The name of Banker Wessel and of course the title Process Visual Journeys in Graphic Design. On the spine, as always, the title at the back, a little bit of explanation about the content of the book and of course Counterprint and their website. Let's take a look at the inside of the book. We can of course also notice that the book has a soft cover and what we also can see are the French folds. So for people who don't know what a French fold is, it's actually a large piece of paper, so double of this size, which is folded in two and the pages are bound here at the spine. But this gives as a result that you get double pages which form one page in its entity. So this is definitely not a mistake, so if you would get this book, don't tear the pages open because you will damage your book and there is nothing inside. So this is just how the book is designed. Now the reason why this has been done like this is to give this book some sort of continuity in the process of yeah, designing a logo. So it, uh, it depicts actually a certain flow that you have when you are working on a project. So that's the idea behind these pages. And you can also notice here that there are certain elements which overlap, which is another representation of the continuity of a process when you are creating your projects. There are 12 projects that are being um, yeah, featured in this book. All projects are of course done by Benke Gwessen and it basically shows the design of a logo starting from the first sketch to the final result. The first project that is featured in this book is a project that Banker Wessel made for Alessandro Ripellino Architects. Here you get a little bit of information about the thinking process or the ideas that were put into the creation of this logo. Here you can find the final logo and here are other elements that are part of the bigger logo entity or elements that were used to create the entire brand identity. So let's take a look at the first sketches of this logo. So the logo here is the first that was designed and everything is placed in chronological order. So this gives you a very good idea and a very good impression about yeah, the entire flow of the creation of the logo. What's also interesting is you always get a little bit of information or something that the designers were thinking when they were reviewing every single logo. So this also gives you a good impression about yeah, why they made certain decisions or why they didn't pick a certain option. Of course, as you can see, the information is always very concise. So sometimes you need to think by yourself as well, which is of course 
also very nice because it enables you to put yourself into the brain of what the designers were thinking here. So sometimes you really need to think as well and to literally see why something didn't work, which is very interesting in my opinion because I don't or I've never seen a similar book like this. So continuing with this project, you will see that the logos are starting to change and you already start recognizing certain elements that were used in the final design. So as you can see here, again, you really see how the designs are building up to the final logo or to the final result. Obviously what makes this book so interesting is the entire process. And as you can see here, many elements are repeated, small adjustments were made, making the bars wider, narrower, changing the space between the uh, elements. And as a final result, I think it's this one. No, sorry, it's this one. So this was the final result. They took here the last element as the fixed logo. And here they say the tall mark can be used as an extended version of uh, for decorative purposes. And that's actually how the book is built up. So you get 12 projects in total. It's 12 times the process that you see here. Second example, Autopistes, which was or is a circus. Here again, the final logo. Again, the thoughts on yeah, the project or which direction they were uh, heading with this project. And here it starts again. First IDs, then they found these shapes quite fast in their design process. And then Banker Wessel started playing with shapes or trying to play with the letters here you can see the s and the t which are put on top of each other here they tried to create patterns in the explanation they say that they like the pattern uh, it could be used to create the brand identity or to do something with this pattern but definitely not as a logo here still experimenting with the shapes adding a triangle to it a square here the diagon diagonal lines it's very interesting to see how other people work and to be honest I think a lot of designers uh, can recognize this. What my first impression was is that um, this book looks a lot like an artboard when you are designing uh, something so I really like that this is a bit more structured than uh, my artboards to be honest but it gives the, the same feeling and the same impression. So here you see where they finish the logo it's really nice to see how this builds up. This eventually leads, of course, to the final result. As I said earlier, the cover, and the reason why I like this cover, it's very playful and it shows a process, in my opinion. This really is a visualization of how a process looks like. You're trying different things, changing shapes, uh, rotating, playing with the elements, and that is exactly how the layout of this book is done. It's it's a magnificent book in my opinion. I've never seen something like this and yeah, it's definitely one of the most special books that I have in my library. At the end of the book the four designers of Banker Wessel are also interviewed. They explain a little bit uh, how their process works or how they handle certain assignments. They also talk about the importance of sketching right here. Is experience important or does it matter? So you also get a quick glance in the minds of the designers, how they work, what they find important and um, yeah, how they work. That was the review of this beautiful book. I'm very curious to hear your thoughts on this one because let's be honest, this is one of the most unique logo books I've ever seen. I don't know if you guys have seen something like this before. If you did, well then please let me know because I really, really love these kind of books. Thank you to Counterprint for publishing this magnificent book. And also, of course, to Banker Wessel for enabling us to get yeah, a deeper insight in your design process. I think this really helps out a lot of young designers, especially 
because nowadays you know you see all those Instagram pictures or nice portfolios and sometimes people just forget the work that you need to put into it and this book definitely shows you that. I don't know what else to say about this book except for that you should really get this book. You can buy it on the website of Counterprint. You can find the link here down below in the description. The only thing that I still want to say is thank you for watching and thank you for your patience. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded a new review but I hope that I have gained back your love a little bit with this review. Also, if you liked this review, give it a like and why not subscribe to my channel to get more of these type of videos. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.